Hey guys, Kara from Cine Samples here. Today we're going to talk about installing CineOrc version 2. And so as you go into your downloads folder, what you'll see is a CineOrc instrument zip file and you will see one CineOrc version 2 samples RAR file. And double check the size of that RAR file, it should be 650.5 megabytes in size, so definitely check that before you do any extractions. What we're going to do first, though, is we are going to unzip this instruments file. Just double click that here and you will see it will automatically create the CineOrc version 2 instruments folder, which will be your final CineOrc folder. We have our instruments in our wallpaper here. And so next what we're going to do is we are going to unrar the RAR file. Just double click that. As you can see, I'm using Unrar X, but you can also use RAR Machine, or if you're on a PC, you can try WinRAR. And that might take a few seconds, so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead. And as you can see, Unrar X is telling me all is okay, so we're going to close out of that. And you can see it's created on my samples folder, which has the low chord samples, 2D chord, 2D octave, and the Vivaldi trem samples all located in there. And we're just going to simply click that and drag it into our main CineOrc version 2 instruments folder. And so we have our instruments, our samples, and our wallpaper all in here. Everything that we need. And so what you have on your screen should look something like this. And if you like, you can click and drag that into your main samples folder. If you don't have a Cine samples folder, you might want to create one now. Alright, and now that that is all installed, I'm going to bring up Contact. And you can navigate CineOrc version 2 through the Files tab, and you can see it here. I can load my instruments, and I see my patch, and I'm just going to click it and drag it over into Contact. And I'm going to bring up our Vivaldi Tremolo, our new patch we're really excited about. And I can show you a few more things about this interface here. By default, we have the dynamics set to CC1. And you can switch in between Sewell Ponticello and Ordinary Tremolos with CC2. And of course, you can always change that to whatever controller you prefer. Another really cool feature about this new patch is the split that you can see right here. And so what we did is we sampled the string section in two layers. We had the cello playing above middle C, and we had the violins playing from their low G through their normal range. And so you get to decide what kind of color you want um, by using this split feature right here. And if you have it all the way down here to the left, you're going to have cellos, and as you bring it up, you're going to get the violin sound. And that is the Vivaldi tremolos and CineOrc version 2. We hope you enjoy the new patch and the completely updated sample set. As always, if you have any questions, you can open up a ticket at cinesamples.com support. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Hey everyone, Kara from CineSamples here. In this video, we're going to talk about installing CineWinds Pro. In your downloads folder, you will see all the files that you downloaded. You will see the CineWinds Pro zip file, and you will see six CineWinds Pro samples RAR files. Before moving on, you want to double check all of the file sizes of those RAR files. Parts 1 through 5 should be the same size, around 3.07 gigabytes. And part 6 is going to be a little bit smaller. It's going to be around 1.77 gigabytes. So once you've confirmed that, you will want to unzip the zip file, so just double click that. And you will see it has automatically created what will be your final CineWinds Pro folder. Next, you will want to unrar the RAR files. You can just double click the first one and it will automatically extract all of the samples from parts 1 through 6. So double click part 1. You can notice here that I am using unrar X. I'd also recommend using RAR Machine, or if you are on a PC, I would recommend using WinRAR. And that might take a few minutes to extract, so we are going to skip ahead. 
And now everything is extracted. You can see Unwar X is telling me all is okay. So I will close out of that. You can see it has automatically created the Cinewins Pro Samples folder, inside of which you will see this samples folder that has all of the samples for Cinewins Pro. And that's the samples folder that you want to click and drag into your main Cinewins Pro folder. So you can open your Cinewins Pro folder. It should look something like this. And next, you will want to bring up your main CineSamples folder, and you're going to want to bring your CineWins Pro folder and put it into your CineSamples folder. If this is your first CineSamples product, you might want to create a CineSamples folder first. So I'm going to take my CineWins Pro folder, put it into my CineSamples folder, just like so, and everything is there and ready to go. Finally, I want to bring up Contact and show you how to load an instrument. Please note that I am in the full version of Contact and not the free Contact player. For CineWinds Pro, you won't find it here in the Libraries tab, but you will be able to navigate it here through the Files tab. So I'm going to find my main CineSamples folder, and then I'm going to find my CineWinds Pro folder, inside of which I'll find my instruments. And down here, I can either double click or I can click and drag into the main window, and you can see that it will load up my instrument. As always, if you have any questions, you can shoot us an email at support at cinesamples.com or you can open a support ticket on our website. Enjoy CineWinds Pro and we'll see you next time. Hey everyone, it's Kara from CineSamples. Today we're going to talk about installing Cinebrass Pro Monster Low Brass. In your downloads folder, you will see the two files that you downloaded, the Cinebrass Pro Monster Low Brass zip file and the Cinebrass Pro Monster Bones samples RAR file. Double check the size of that file, it should be around 875.7 megabytes. And first, what you'll want to do is unzip the zip file, so just double click that. And note, it will automatically create your final Cinebrass Pro Monster Low Brass folder. And next, what you'll want to do is unrar the rar file, so double click on that one. You can notice here that I am using rar machine. You might want to try unrar x, or if you're on a PC, I would recommend win winrar. And that might take a few seconds, so we're just going to skip ahead. And now that everything's extracted, you're going to see this samples folder with all of your monster low brass samples inside. Usually with downloads, it'll download everything and put it alphabetically, so you might have to look for that samples folder. It won't be right next to your Cinebrass Pro folder. But you can just click and drag that samples folder into your final Cinebrass Pro Monster Low Brass folder. You can look inside, it'll have everything you need, your samples and your instruments. And next what you'll want to do is you'll want to bring that into your main CineSamples folder see that here. So I'm going to take my Cinebrass Pro Monster Low Brass folder, click it, and just drag it on over to my main CineSamples folder. And you can see it's going to be right underneath my Cinebrass Pro folder. And now I want to bring up Contact and show you how to load a patch. Note that I'm in the full version of Contact and not the free Contact player. For this one, you won't be able to navigate through the Libraries tab as you are with the Cinebrass Pro Library. You can find it here in the Files tab. So just find your main CineSamples folder, inside of which you'll find the Cinebrass Pro Monster Low Brass folder. Find your instruments, and you can either double click or click and drag that file into the window. You can see it loads up nice and neat for you. Definitely check out Mike Patty's walkthrough video. He walks you through all of the four patches and shows you a little bit around those. As always, if you ever have questions, you can shoot us an email at support at cinesamples.com. Thanks so much and have fun. Enjoy Monster Low Brass, and we'll see you next time.